and welcome along and welcome to this first look at New Park Farm. A big thank you to uh, Peter716 for sending this over for me to take a look at. Um, I'm a huge fan of his earlier map, Greenlands. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, is going to be a cracking map. It's only a 1x and uh, is very much... I think it would work as a single player or a very limited multiplayer. Um, but we'll go around and uh, and have a look at why I think this a bit uh, a bit later on. Um, it has 37 fields, uh, three forest areas and two farmyards. So let's pop into the map and have a look at this. So as I said, we've got two farmyards, uh, 37 fields in total. And uh, yeah, three forestry areas. The cheapest area that I could find was area 27 over here, um, which is uh, one of the forestry areas. That clocks in at 44,654. Most expensive, I think, is field 8, uh, which is 354. Uh, yeah, 354 appears to be the most expensive area on here. So, uh, again, a good, nice single-player map. Uh, none of the fields are overly expensive, which is great news. Uh, you start off on New Farmer owning fields or areas. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18 down the bottom here. Um, that includes one of the farms which has both pigs and sheep. So, uh, yeah, it's a good little area. And you can see uh, round there, that's where all the equipment is at the moment. Um, slightly surprisingly uh there is a farmhouse down there but you start off on this map when you first spawn in at this house here i wonder i haven't saved and, and gone back out and come back in uh so uh, i wonder if you actually spawn down there in future um there's no house icon down there so you may have to place your own uh doormat if you're if you're looking to to set yourself a spawn point um but uh yeah as you can see it's not the biggest of maps um, but I think as a, a good little single player English map, this should be pretty good. Um, the two farms are, you've got the main New Park Farm there, and you then you've got uh, East New Park Farm, where we you initially start as a new farmer. And uh, yeah, there's a, there's quite a nice thing to the yards. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go around New Park Farm quickly and show you guys. Uh, the, these are really really tight uh very british feeling yards i like that a lot um you, you really have to uh, uh to not have the hugest of equipment to get around here which considering this map is is probably a good thing but i, I like that everything's squashed in that there's not a huge amount to, uh, of, of maneuvering room it's uh, it makes sense for for the kind of map that this is trying to be so uh i like that a lot let's uh jump in the landy though and having had a quick tour around the uh the second farmyard uh we'll head over to the first uh, and again you can see that there's a nice level of detail to this i need to get used to driving on the other side of the road now that i'm um back on an english map because i spent a lot of time over the last week uh going around silver run forest uh, you've got a large pond there at the bottom of field 37 to fill water up. And if we come, whoa, round the corner here, preferably without hitting another car, uh, we can head up here. So you can see in the, the distance, the edge of the map is a little bit visible on here. Uh, there's a lot of very repeating trees. I don't mind that so much, and it does hide what's beyond uh, but, um, yeah, I, I, I like a little variety in the edge of the map. It's a minor thing, but it is... Uh, it is. I like to point out both the good and, uh, and the not so good. Again, our second farm here is something that is very good. I am impressed by the farm layouts here. They are nice and tight. They are, they are good English-feeling areas. And uh, 36, I think, must be an extension... Oh, no, it's not an extension of the pigs. So, yeah, it's a grass area round the uh, the edge. So, 
plenty of grass fields and everything to work on here. I don't know if the equipment is... Uh, yeah, it looks like we will go through the equipment at the end. But it looks like we've got some grass equipment to start off with. As well as some arable stuff. So, um, yeah, that should be pretty good for this. And uh, I'm liking it a lot. And you can see what I mean by there is a farmhouse up here. But doesn't seem that it initially has a, uh, a, a trigger or anything for you to, uh, to, to mark it as your starting point. So you probably want to grab a doormat mod or something like that. Uh, just to give yourself a spawn point up at the farm uh, if you're playing on here. And, uh, and have a go with that. We are going to go around the very circular road that, that goes round the uh, fields at the centre of this map. And I do like this. There is a decent amount of uh, a decent amount of detail and everything on the inside of this map. The, the hedgerows are very nicely done around the fields. I like all of the, the pathways into the fields. Those look good. Uh, I'm very intrigued to see what the actual uh, forestry areas look like and we'll get round to one of those in a moment uh, the other areas that intrigue me is in the middle of field 8 up here uh, there is an uh, there's a couple of areas that run into field 8 and through there now next to the main yards on here there are as well a couple of satellite areas so like this one here if you were trying to do uh, maybe a contracting setup or something like that, you could come into here and do that. Field 9 here, or, or Area 5, uh, has 163 as a starting price. Um, but given the price of the fields around here, if you're doing start from scratch, you could probably afford any of the main yards first. Uh, yeah, you could, you could very easily afford uh, the, the yard that's around in... Uh, area 36 quite well so uh, i don't know how important those would be but if you're coming up here and you want to leave some equipment up here uh then there are satellite areas to be able to do that now the question i had was what is up this road here and there is the answer this has a really interesting setup in the middle of field eight uh you've got a uh, windmill and you've got the same over here. So that's what these roads and these cutouts are for. And it's quite nice because this means that these two fields are actually not the easiest fields to work. Because while they're fairly regular shape, they have got these bits in the middle of them. And uh, I like that. That is a very nice touch, having those in the, uh, the middles of those fields. So uh, yeah, kudos. That is really nice. Uh, we're going to go and have a look at a forestry area. Lots of traffic on these roads. Uh, and yeah, this is the entrance to a field here. But I'm just going to jump through here. And yeah, look at this. Some nice variation. Some good placing of bushes and things. Uh, just making this forestry area a little bit more interesting. Um, yeah, liking that a lot. A good attention to detail. Uh, love to see that in a map. And uh, always the forestry. And the forest areas are the best place if you're ever evaluating a map to uh, to go and have a look and see uh, how much detail the map makers put into it because you will uh, you'll get that that wonderful uh, look at, uh, at how much they pay to an area that quite often a lot of people might not go and touch. Now I'm going to come back to something I was saying earlier about the edge of the map being very similar. I thought I was reaching the edge of the map. We're not. So this is a forestry area down here, as well as being the main sail area for the map. So, yeah, you can't always tell where the edge of the map is. Uh, because, yeah, this was what I thought was beyond the edge of the map. Uh, we'll have a look at the forestry here. And again, a good attention to detail in these borders a good bit of variation and it's not just i've seen a few maps that just place grass down and uh, and trees underneath uh, and, and then and then just have the trees and to have uh, to have some thought go into it is very very nice always good to see that 
Um, we have the animal market here, which appears to be a custom one for this map, a new park market. So liking that a lot. We've got a water tower up here. Um, as uh, I don't think that's a fill point, that one. And uh, there's a couple of sell points in there as well. Uh, we've got Thomas and Sons Grain and Wood Merchants. So, again, custom for here. Although, looks like we've got a little bit of texturing issue. But otherwise, yeah, really liking the customization of, uh, of everything. And, uh, you know, just it's such a nice touch. If you're using some of the base uh, map stuff to... Uh, to, to customize it a little bit and make it your own for uh, the, the use on here and it just helps to immerse a little bit more uh, BJ plant nice sized BGA uh, we've got these stone oh okay so we've got a lime producing stone crusher here yeah so rock crusher lime production is built into this map like to see that a lot that is great and yeah, power plant, uh, or planty, plan et, uh, BGA in here with two nice sized places to be creating the silage as well. A couple of, couple of nice sized silage clamps. Uh, again, looking into there, into the woods, that, that attention to detail on the forest floor continues as we come round and down here to what looks like i think yeah round here is the shop so uh, it's hidden away a little bit up the back and there it is taylor's agricultural engineers that do z tours fantastic uh so one of the things actually that's missing on greenlands that i i like that is included here is we have a shop purchase point so uh yeah absolutely brilliant to see that in here a uh, good little shop nice nice little rural uh, agricultural engineers that and then we've got the point at which to uh customize equipment and things over here so uh yeah all in all liking that a lot there's uh it seems to be a great little map this uh perfect as i was saying at the start for single player setups definitely uh, will definitely work for that um, if you want to run a co-op farm or a co-op couple of farms I think it would fit really well for that as well uh, it's uh, it's just a nice compact little map that works uh, works well for it let's take a look then at what equipment you start off with on here and it's actually quite a large array of equipment which is good to see uh, small tractors you start off with a couple of Zetors, uh, a 4 Terra HSX 130 and a Proxima HS90. Uh, neither of them have any hours on them, so uh, that's not a case on here. Um, we've got the Vultra Valmet as a sort of a medium tractor. For the Harvester, we've got a Deutz Far Topliner 4090H. Uh, cars, you do get a Lizard 1986 pickup. Trailers, you've got the Class Carrot 140TD. Uh, headers, the Topliner 4090 header is uh, is given to you. Plows, you've got the Agromads POV 5XL. Uh, Cedar is the Nordston HK25 plus NS3030. Mowers, you've got a couple of them, uh, both Coon, and it's a GMD 4411 and a GMD 3123F. Headers, uh, you've got an Alpine Hit 4.4H from Potinger. Wind rowers, the Sams Z2 840H. Uh, Balers, uh, another Potinger piece of equipment, the Empress 125F Pro. Uh, you get a front loader in the Quickie Q3M. Uh, to go with it, you've got an Albert Universal Bucket. Uh, then there's a, a top liner 4090 header trailer for the combine and a 10 winkle pack 750 weight. So, uh, yeah, a good lineup of equipment. Uh, I like that quite nice. Uh, that's quite a nice setup. 
Um, only thing I would say about that setup is there's no bail spike. That's the only thing I think that's missing. Um, however, you always need something to spend your money on when you first start a map. And uh, a, 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 a bail spike is not the hugest piece of, uh, or the most expensive piece of equipment uh, that you could buy. Uh, we'll have one quick last look at the contracts on here. And yep, a uh, decent contract set up, playing uh, decent amounts of money. So, uh, yeah, liking that a lot as well. So there we go. This is a cracking little map. If you're looking for one to do some single player on or a, a small multiplayer with maybe two or three of you running a farm or a couple of farms together, um, I think this is going to be a great map. It has been submitted to Giants for testing um, and any issues or errors I've found, any bugs I found during this first look, I will pass back to uh peter 716 um huge thank you again for to him for letting me have a first look at this uh cracking little map go grab it when it comes out on the mod hub and uh yeah that is where i'm gonna leave this video so all that remains is for me to say Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.